Oh, hey, Diddy. How's it going? How are you? I'm great. I see that you're using TLC. Now, isn't that great for checking reaction progress and characterizing compounds? It is very helpful. Right? Yes. I see that you have a basic setup here. TLC, or thin layer chromatography, is extremely useful for comparing compound polarities, monitoring reaction progress, assessing sample purity, and identifying sample components. Your basic TLC setup will consist of plates, spotters, your eluent and container, and as an option, a stain. Lori, what are you doing? I'm spotting a plate. With what? A spotter. Where'd you get it? I made it. You guys make your own here? To make a TLC spotter, you'll need a Bunsen burner and striker, a glass pasture pipette, file paper or sandpaper, and heat resistant gloves. To make the spotters, we're going to be using an open flame from a Bunsen burner. It's important to move all organic materials, such as ethyl acetate, out of the way. Next, we're going to turn on the gas and light the flame using the striker. We're going to be heating a pasture pipette so you may want to use gloves to protect your hands from the flame, if you so choose. To make the spotter, we're going to take our pipette and gently lower it into the flame. Heat the wider portion of the pipette. When it becomes soft and pliable in your hands, you're going to remove it from the flame and quickly pull it apart. make sure you pull it apart away from your body so you don't burn yourself. After your long strand of glass has cooled, we'll use file paper to score it and break it. Take the file paper and gently rub it against the piece of glass. It should then easily break apart in your fingers. Samir, what does this do? You guys cut your own TLC plates too? To cut TLC plates, you'll need a glass scorer a soft surface such as cardboard, and either a ruler or a straight piece of glass for a cutting guide. To cut our TLC plates, we'll be using a diamond glass cutter with a diamond tip on the end to score our glass. To start, take a fresh, clean TLC plate and place the silica side face down on a clean piece of cardboard. The glass side should be facing up towards you. Now we'll take another clean piece of glass and lay it down on the silica plate as a guide. This will help you cut straight and also determine how wide to cut your TLC plates. Now we'll take our glass cutter and gently score down the side of the glass. Now that the glass has been scored, to break apart the plate, gently lift up the plate and push up through the middle. We'll repeat the process to make our smaller TLC plates for everyday use. Score the glass, and then gently lift up and break apart the TLC plates. Hey Diddy, are you staining TLC plates today? Yes, I am staining TLC plates today. Many compounds are colorless when on a TLC plate, so to help visualize these, a TLC stain that targets a specific functional group in that compound can be used to make the compound easier to see. Here are some common TLC stains you might use when in the organic chemistry laboratory. After you've run your TLC plate, you may want to stain it using vanillin stain. To do so, take your TLC plate and submerge it in vanillin. Then, carefully wipe off the excess before putting it on a hot plate. Make sure to do this in the hood because there may be some fumes from the vanillin. You'll know your TLC plate's completed staining after the color is changed. 
carefully lift it up off of the hot plate using forceps because hot glass does look like cold glass. Make sure you let it cool before analyzing. To stain with iodine, take your TLC plate and carefully place it into a bottle of iodine stain. After a few minutes, when the TLC plate has changed color, carefully remove the cap of the bottle and pull out your stained TLC plate. You can observe that the some spots may have changed color due to the iodine stain. Uh, hey Mitch, what are you up to? Writing down my TLC data in my notebook. Good, make sure you have everything else you need for that as well. Thanks Dr. Hilmy. Alright Mitch. So wise. Your TLC will provide you with a lot of information, but it's only useful if you record it properly in your notebook. Make sure you have an accurate picture of your TLC with your starting, co-spot, and reaction lanes all labeled properly, as well as your solvent front. Make sure you record the eluent in which you ran your TLC plate. You should also include RF values for your starting spots, co-spots, as well as your reaction spots. If you used a stain, make sure you record that as well. That's all the time we have for today. I hope you had fun learning about TLC.